guys, hello and welcome back. Here we are, already on another episode. It's episode three, coming at you hot off the shelf. And um, I know at the end of the last episode, I said I wanted to uh, jump right back into the uh, trams, get those going. But I've just been letting this run for a few minutes, and you can kind of see traffic. It's actually a little bit uh, worse in our, uh, our little roundabout right here. And uh, I only imagine, obviously, if the city gets bigger, this will get worse, right? So might as well tackle this now, and definitely if we add trams to it, it'll just, you know, it'll work against itself, it'll become more, you know, more problematic, because, you know, traffic won't really uh, flow all that well. So I think we'll, uh, we'll do that, and then, you know, if time permits, then we can get the trams going, but in my mind, there's no sense putting trams in, and then creating a big mess, and then having to, you know, erase the tram lines, and just, you know, go over things again. So let's fix this, let's get traffic moving properly, and, um, yeah, then we'll, uh, we'll get things working. Okay, so I just want to just change this over to an interchange versus anything else um, I do need the money to come in so I'm actually not gonna pause the game I'm gonna leave these roads here this is gonna be our unfortunately our only way around for that little spot but it's just be super super fast super super temporary and let me just double check our power lines good we're connected right there don't worry about this being too much of a headache okay that. Okay. Now, what we can do is either bring the road up and over, or we can bring the highway up and over. But I think what we'll do is we'll keep the highway the same. Um, you guys are probably wondering what these crazy arrows are. And let me tell you, so I've got some more mods working. And um, actually, quite a few of them have been updated. So we've got our um, one-way road arrows working, which is really cool. I like throwing these on when I check my interchanges to make sure everything's going in the right direction so I can avoid those uh, problems I ran into like in our first episode. And um, I'll show you this the whole list basically. So one of my favorite mods, which is like just hands down the best, is the Network Extensions mod. It's um, new types of roads. You can see some of these guys here, some of these guys here, some new highway ones, um, bus and pedestrian routing, which is like super convenient. Um, so that works. We got the... Um, Precision engineering back up and running, so that shows us unit counts in our degrees, which is super convenient. I got the fine heights back up and running, which is three meter intervals in your height, which is like the best, and uh, quite a few others too. And um, if actually, I could I could back this up a little bit and kind of tell you one further. So it's not really the mods that are stopping me from running the previous city. It's actually some of the assets, which I didn't think was going to be the issue at all. And what's actually happening? is, um, uh, so basically this city obviously it runs, right? Um, I tried to run this with the same mods, but I uh, instead added like a whole whack of assets, and then the city wouldn't load. Uh, and then when I removed the assets, the city loaded, so that tells me that some of the assets are the issue. And I think what it is, is um, because we're um, uh, running into that same problem with the um, uh, more beautification mod, I think some of the custom assets that are treated like props I think those are giving us a little bit of a headache. So I imagine um, if we remove the ones that are kind of giving us the trouble, or if I um, uh, find um, at least some you know, hotfix or something just to replace some, I think then we can get the uh, the other city to work. So that's just still a little bit of a work in progress, but I will definitely keep you guys posted. And this did not come out 100% either. Let's try that one more time. That works. And that works. There we go. The issue is these are not um, evenly spaced from uh, one another, but that's totally no problem. Let's do this one little itty bitty part of the median right here, which is just there to kind of hold up the traffic or the um, wires, it looks like, which is kind of cool. Okay. So these are now back in order, and we'll fix the uh, highway. And I'm actually, I'm tempted to throw in another garbage dump, because there's a lot of garbage issues still. Just while we're kind of, you know, working away at this. And, yeah, these are. Um, so let's throw in one of these, um, let's put it over here, just because, you know, we, um, should be tackling from the other side of the city. And then we'll replace these guys with, uh, the incinerators. And I'm going to put this road here, just so that the vehicles have somewhere to do a U-turn, they don't have to go the whole way down. Okay, we'll let that just go in the background. Um... Okay, so this is up and over. That's much better already. And I'm just going to put in some simple um, 
on and off ramps from here. And we probably should just connect them right to this um, avenue. Okay, we'll do our best to kind of stretch these out so that people can really, you know, take advantage of them. Traffic doesn't really back up too much on them. This will just be a simple diamond interchange. And I'm not particularly digging the fact that there's all these traffic lights coming in really close to one another over here. So what I'm going to do is a little bit of infrastructure redevelopment in this spot. And let me change these roads back. And kind of see, this is now purple, which tells me that not all the lanes are being used um, for the entry point. And that's because these are not one ways, and that fixes that. Okay, so from here, let's get these guys going more or less at the same kind of angle and, and direction. And then we can change this, because that looks a little bit odd. Okay, this goes from here to here. That would hopefully get rid of that slope. It does. And then these can go just like this. And actually, let's do this side first, just so we can sneak in. There we go, as much as we can. There, that's pretty even, Steven. I think maybe this could come down a hint. Let's try that really quickly. Um, yeah, that's a little bit better, right? There we go. I know this is a very different game plan than the, uh, the roundabout, but unfortunately, most of the people were just using this to get back onto and off the highway, so I think this approach might be a little bit more efficient. And I suspect that if we add a... Um, a little bit of a bypass as well, just to get back to the highway quicker. That should also make a um, an improvement. Okay, so we we'll go to here, go back like this, just like that. Bring this up now. Oops, I guess we won't go like that. Go a little further. That goes like this, and then this just goes right over to here. And you know what we could do to make this a little bit faster is make this highway. There we go. This is hopefully for like trucks and you know vehicles that want to get right back to the highway really quickly after having been through the um, industrial sector. And I'd like to upgrade some of these roads to use these guys here. They're basically a um, you know two by two with no parking, so much better for uh, for traffic. We'll have this as a little bit of a support just for this avenue, so that way, you know, streetcars and stuff don't get too bogged down. And then again, this kind of takes you back to the highway quickly, right? And I want one ways here. Okay. And a one way like this should get rid of the traffic lights, and then a one way outward as well should also get rid of the traffic lights. So when we zoom in right here, I know it's kind of hard to see, but now the traffic lights are gone. That should, hopefully, fingers crossed, make things a little bit better in the long run. I'm hoping. And then what we can do is the exact same thing over here, is those um, one-way roads going out. And then, oh no, because of the way the, um, the road height is. That's really confusing. Oh, there's like the weirdest intersection point right here. Let's try this one more time. Actually, let's try if I do uh, these first. Let's see from like here, like this, right? And then so what I'll do is I'll switch that with this. And you know, I'll, I'll do that actually afterwards because I might cause a little bit of a headache here. There we go. No weird slopes. That's what I'm after. And anyway, you can see, so traffic lights, right? Da -da -da -da. Uh, not good because they're so close to each other. And then what we do to fix that is we switch the direction. Perfect. And then when we look again, no traffic lights. Super convenient. So that way we can still get people zoning here. In order for these people now to uh, get back to the city, I'm going to change this right back to the where it was before, which again is a little bit redundant, but sometimes these things have to happen. Okay, there we go. Back in action. I love it. So we are getting places. Okay. And then we'll fill this whole thing in with like, you know, trees and, and this and that just to make it look a little bit more, uh, you know, more lively. And then, yeah, it'll look kind of cool when we get the new... Um, I want to do like a little bridge up and over here just to kind of add like a little bit of a bypass as well. It's my secret little, you know, backup plan for later. So we'll try that. But uh, no, look at this. I think we've actually made a very drastic improvement to our area. So I'll put it on three speed. We'll see how the, um, 
how the traffic kind of handles our new, uh, you know, our new interchange. Visually doesn't look too bad. I kind of like it in the area. And I am noticing some of these garbage icons go down, so I think we actually made a good, uh, good thing there. We did a good thing, sorry, by adding this, uh, you know, little, uh, little dump over there. Okay. And then just a little bit unrelated, guys. Um, for those of you who have been uh, dropping comments about parks and all that kind of stuff, keep it up. Um, feel free to add some more. Um, I don't want to forget any of you. And for those of you um, who I've been talking to on like different platforms, that kind of stuff, like Twitter and, and Twitch and everything, uh, just send me another reminder. I know some of you already have in previous videos, but um, try and send them, you know, or like or like comments in one of the first few episodes in this again, uh, just so I can kind of get you, you know, fresh in my mind, because like, the thing I hate the most is when I tell one of you I'll, I'll make you a park and then it slips my mind. I hate that feeling so much. Same with comments. When you drop like a really important question or something and it like just slips my mind to answer. I hate that feeling. So I mean like guys, if I don't get some of the, the bigger questions answered, like it, it does not bother me at all if you keep asking the same question over and over again. I just sometimes, you know, might miss it. And then from my perspective, I love the reminder. Don't feel like you're spamming me. Um, I don't necessarily need it a hundred times, but like, you know, two or three times, same question. I'll, I'll hopefully get to you. And if I don't, like, I really do apologize. It's just, it just, it does become really hard to answer all the comments when, you know, hundreds are coming in each day type thing. So it's, it's tough to keep up with all of them. Um, I am loving this. This is like a like huge improvement. A little bit of trouble right here, it looks like, because I think we might have a bit too much spacing with these intersections, but we can do that same little trick we just did over there, right? Where we just kind of, you know, make these um, one-way roads kind of go in opposite directions. And that way, there's only a traffic light here and only a traffic light here. And that should hopefully help a little bit more. And again, the people have the option to go this way, which takes them back to the highway. Okay, so let's um, bring the lights back up. And uh, let's maybe go ahead and put in our first uh, tram network. Why not, right? See so, you how know, things kind of go with that. And again, a little bit unrelated. Um, I am still a little bit sick, but I, I do really appreciate you guys sending me all the good vibes. Like, I'm feeling so much better today as a result, and it does mean a lot to me. It's, it's kind of sweet that you guys think of me like that, you know? And yeah, it's no fun being sick, you know? Who wants to be sick? Nobody, right? Unless it's like, you know, the day before an exam, then definitely get sick and get a doctor's note and, you know, that extra day of studying. But that's not really the applicable case here. It's like, I would love to make more content. I hate being stuffed up. I have a little runny nose. I hate it. Ugh, it's the worst, right? But I love making videos for you guys, which is why I'm doing this, you know? So. Okay, so trams. And goodness gracious, I cannot wait to get rid of, um, or improve this, because this little backup is driving me a little bit crazy. And it really it has to do with this, right? Everyone doing the old loop-de-loop -loop right here. So um, I think what we can do is if we make these highway roads, we don't have to worry about snow accumulating on them. So maybe that'll be like a long-term kind of goal once we move these uh, dumps out of the way. Anyway, so this, yeah, I know it does kind of drive me nuts too, so we'll kind of ignore that for the moment. But yeah, let's just jump into trams. I'll keep it on one speed. And I'll show you guys a few options for um, uh, doing trams, or at least the tram lines. So we'll start a new line like this. Kind of get things going. And we'll do a couple of, um, uh, of lines here. Like a few overlapping ones, essentially. And you'll kind of see what I mean. Actually, I've got two styles of, uh, of lines to do. And then hopefully you guys will find them efficient and you can use them in your own cities. And I think I have to put a few more tram tracks in just to kind of um, accomplish what I want to set out here. Which is totally doable. Alright, so there's one simple basic line. The problem is it only goes one way, right? So what we need to do is uh, just create the corresponding one in the opposite direction. And that way these two work as a team. And then your uh, citizens don't have to take the long way around the whole city just to get back, you know, if they were kind of backtracking a bit, right? Make things more efficient. Okay. And then, yeah, so for those of you who do kind of... Um, keep track of the uh, the random things I do in my life. So I did actually work that trade show today, which I know is crazy, but um, it's my friend, it's his business, right? So I went ahead and did that, that was nuts. And I gotta do that again tomorrow too. And for those kind of things, I usually like announce what I'm doing, you know, on Twitter and this and that. So if you guys wanna follow me on there, that's totally a fun place to keep up with me. And I'm pretty active on Twitter too, so you guys can like, you know, send me messages and I'll try and respond there type thing. 
And what I'm going to do is we'll create like a unified fleet color. I'll just kind of ponder over the next few minutes what we're going to use for it. You can see there's our streetcars coming out right now. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So it is a little bit polluted over here. That's why it's kind of all hazy. So we'll, um, I'll have a fire too, not really adding. Um, oh, here's one. Yeah, so we'll sneak a peek at them out in the uh, residential sector. Nice, look at that. Cool. Actually, let's stare a little bit more. I love, I'm loving these. That's really cool. Bon voyage, mon ami. Okay, so let's add another line or two in before I get too distracted here. Um, yes, okay, here. Now, this one is going to be for this side. So we'll have a little bit of um, overlap. So these stops there will kind of, you know, make contact with one another. And that way you can kind of line share. And this is a little bit of a shorter network, which is totally no problem. They're all going to kind of work as complementary forces to one another. Make a very efficient public transit system. Very few people will use their cars, and that really, really, really helps with traffic, like, immensely. Okay, so the style I've been using, you can see these are both kind of two, you know, little loops that work back on themselves. If you want to mix it up a little bit and put something different in, this is when I said I needed some new tracks. Let me show you what I have in mind. Or have in mind, sorry. Um, I don't like how the um, uh, the colors just appear. See how this is like, you, know, you can see the which um, uh, roads have tracks. I wish that was the case when you're doing the upgrade tool too. Maybe I should write our um, development team a, a little, uh, little letter. A nice suggestion. Okay, so we'll just do a little loop like this. You might already maybe have an idea as to what I'm doing. And I will go one like that. And then we'll go, uh, let's go this way. Just kind of sneak our way through here. And you know what we could do is, um, oh, actually, yeah, we could do this. Yeah, let's do this. Cool. That's like, that's awesome. Okay. Now, this one, the way we'll start it, we'll just go right here to start. And we'll just go over here. Make our way. Now, why did that one suddenly just lose? Aha, it's lying to me. Okay. I will let that one slide. I think we may have confused the game when we uh, added a new line like this. That's totally okay. The game is allowed to make these kind of, you know, it's allowed to think things through. Okay, so this goes like this. And again, you might already have an idea as to what I'm doing. But I'm basically creating a line that falls back on itself. So there's no need to do the second one, you know? I find that these are maybe aren't, aren't as efficient. They're kind of better for a little bit of a dynamic kind of in-town route. You see this one kind of serves the others type thing. But just to kind of show you guys some uh, different options. And then for over here... We'll just create, you know, same idea, let's do a little loop, right? And then we'll just kind of connect to other stops. That way you can just transfer from, you know, one, one route to the other. There we go. Might be a little bit overkill for the size of our city, but we have a working uh, tram network. And we've got lots of room for, um, for growth, too, which is, like, awesome. And I have been pondering for the color. I am leaning towards something that's a little bit in the bluey kind of purple tone. So maybe we'll try this. That's maybe a little bit more blue than I wanted. I still like that color. And there we go. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get these perfectly aligned, right? But I'll do my best. And then we can always make our buses. We can make those a, um, a different color, just for fun. But I like the idea of kind of like a unified um, fleet. I think in real life, you know, most, uh, most transit networks have like a unified color, right? Of course, there might be some variance, right, between the trains and buses and everything. So you guys let me know your thoughts on that. If you have any colors you want to suggest, too, feel free. Okay, look at that! We've done it! we got a working network. And then now the tram should be nice and blue. So we'll bring up the sun here so we can admire our handiwork. And I hear them. Oh, 
there's one right there. Yes. Woohoo! Cool. Very cool. Now, hopefully, we should see a reduction in traffic on the road. But my goodness, what a difference, right from the beginning of the episode till now, in terms of, like, our traffic flow, just in general. I'm very impressed with our improvements. And these are the kind of things we're going to have to monitor, just to make sure that we've actually made the right, you know, the right choices. Because this intersection, it's slightly backed up, just from, you know, volume. Hey, alright, another... Oh, this means we unlock the um, incinerators. Oh, yes. All right. So we got some new tax policies. We got some uh, oh, metros. Nice. Oh, my goodness. A whole bunch of stuff here, actually. High-density buildings, too. Okay, great. And obviously some new, uh, some new buildings. Fun stuff. Well, the most important one in my mind right now is the uh, incinerator. So put these right here. What are all these characters doing hanging out over here? Okay, they're fixing themselves. That's fine. So we'll put one incinerator over there. I think this will now need water, to be honest. Yes, it will. And since it's making power, I might as well bring it over into our network. There we go. This could just be temporary, you know, that little line. Because I'm not sure if that's going to be a permanent spot, that incinerator. And we'll just put that right there. And then we can click on this to now empty. And then when this one, uh, when this empties, we'll uh, we'll destroy it. Uh, freeze up room. Then we can build that little bridge back there. Yes, all the things are definitely coming our way. Okay. Now since we've been letting the game run for a little bit, we do have some money on hand, which we can definitely spend on services to make our city even better. Okay. So we definitely need to deal with death care over on this side of the woods. And we'll that right here, because we'll take advantage of the fact that there's a little bit more space, right? And I almost want this to be in line with that. That's nicer. There we go, let's bring that back. Very nice. Okay, so healthcare is great since we got that hospital in. Might need a little clinic over here, actually. Okay, let's put that right there. It's fine and dandy. Fire coverage, you know, this is no surprise to us. We know we need it a little bit more. Um, how's the police? Police isn't bad. I remember I said I wanted to put a large police station in a police headquarters or so right around here. But the smaller guys actually do a very good job. We're only at 7% crime right now. It's actually, that's very reasonable. So let's save up. Let's buy a large fire station. I think that's a bit of a better investment right now. And we'll put that one over here. And then we'll shift this one a little bit further over, just ever so slightly. That way I think the coverage should be uh, nice and well uh, well spread out. Okay, we have a bit of commercial demand, so maybe we can do a little bit of building too, just so this whole episode isn't just um, about infrastructure upgrades, right? I don't want to spend too much money, because we need to save some in order to, you know, get that fire station, but... Should we make these tram tracks just kind of plan for the future? Okay. And let's maybe start using these, because I think we're going to start getting a little bit more high density as we get closer to the um, water's edge. And so we'll just kind of gear ourselves up for um, higher traffic volumes. But um, I do kind of want to keep um, some spacing here and there, so that we can, uh, you know, sneak some rails in eventually. Because I do want a really cool rail corridor. I'm a very big sucker for trains. So that's definitely high on my list of things to get accomplished. And we'll just end that like that. That's fine and dandy. We can always change that later on. Again, this is a little bit boxy, but just you know, just to give us a little bit more, you know, room to kind of zone. Cool. Let's make sure these don't get too crooked. Now, we don't necessarily have to connect every single one of these. We can even do every other, just so that we can start freeing up some of the um, intersections from traffic lights. Okay, so let's try that, doing the every other approach. And that one's not too bad, so let's do that. There we go. That also breaks up a little bit of the, um, you know, the shape of the, uh, the city right there. Okay, so commercial. I don't want to use 
too much. Actually, you know what I could do? Um, so what I'd like to do, this is a bit of a, um, a swing in a different direction here, is uh, I'd like to make a buffer in between my residential and my, um, my commercial. So I'm going to put offices right here. Put some smaller level commercial over here. And then the offices themselves, they don't really make, make much noise. And they don't mind being next to someone who's noisy. So theoretically, all the noise that these high density commercial buildings are going to make um, won't really spill over to the um, residents over here. And then just to kind of offset the fact that we did move some residents out, I'm actually going to switch all of this over to high density. And then what I like to do throughout the city, just for a little bit of fun, just so we get some, you know, some building height variation, is um, I'll just take out little pockets like this, and then I'll replace these with high density. And that way here and there you get, you know, a couple apartment buildings, you know, that kind of pop in, they look kind of cool. Nothing too overpowering, so the skyline isn't like, you know, there's like constantly, you know, towers. I like a little bit of variety in my, uh, in my height. And like, you know, not too many. Just kind of go at a little, you know, at your own pace. Maybe you can even cover, you know, all the uh, points of an intersection like this. Let's just go a little bit further up, why not? Again, just a little bit here and there, you know. And then everything else can kind of go back the way it was. And we won't zone right there, just to keep, uh, you know, a little bit of a gap in traffic and all that other stuff. There we go. Look at that, the first of the uh, high density buildings are already coming in. And we're already moving into offices. Like, this is incredible. Our city is coming along at such a beautiful pace. And we're only on our third episode. I can't believe it. Okay, now we got our 60,000, so we can get our new. Um... Wow, look at how great these look. Oh my goodness, what a great addition. Fantastic. So I think down the road we might maybe need to do something to this interchange. We'll kind of see how volume goes, but. This, my goodness, a breath of fresh air for our poor city, you know, with in terms of congestion. And all these icons just means that we need more people in here, so this is great. Our demand should be going up, the residents should be piling in. I'm very excited. Did we get everyone with water? We did. Okay, good. Um, power is okay, so let's just put in the uh, old uh, fire station right here. That's great. And then we're going to move... Um, where was this one? Right, just slightly, slightly down the street. And I'm even tempted to put one more over here, just because the high um, high density buildings they need a little bit more in terms of fire coverage. So I quite like this, even though this doesn't seem like it's a lot of coverage. I think this is pretty decent for the city. Could use one more up here, but I'd rather buy a school instead. Unfortunately, over here, we don't have a school. And I had a few of you suggest that we put one in the last episode, so I appreciate that, guys. Like, in general, I love the suggestions, so definitely, you know, definitely keep them coming. Okie dokie. My goodness, I am extraordinarily pleased with everything. This is just great. And so the offices, they obviously add um, a little bit of industry. So our industrial demand is, like, dropped right off, simply because we don't have, you know, enough, um, enough workers here. Hopefully some of our higher density um, residential buildings will start coming in. And I'm even tempted, to be 100% honest with you, to extend our little high density zone a little bit further up. Why don't we just do that like this? Yes, that'll look great. Get those population numbers up, you know? So unfortunately our budget is taking a very big hit because we've been, uh, you know, really dropping in those expensive services. But of course that gets offset with our residents paying taxes, and our residents won't really come to the city if there's nothing for them to come for. So I don't want these to abandon. Yeah, unfortunately they're starting to. So we'll have to get more workers in here ASAP. But I don't know if we'll get more workers until we get more commercial. This really, it's like a fun, you know, it's a fun challenging balance, which I, which I really like about this game. Okay, so I already know I'm gonna change this. Oops. Wrong direction. There we go. Make these all commercial. That should hopefully help a little bit. 
perfect. Are we out of fuel over here? Oh, we are. So hopefully these trucks are coming in. Oh, it's still the... Yeah, that's right. It's still our traffic. I almost forgot about this whole spot. Okay, so this is emptying. Uh, when this empties, we'll destroy it. And then we'll uh, reinvent this little area. And that should hopefully make things a lot better. But I think we will end off our episode right here, guys. A very, very, very productive episode. Like, I'm, I'm really happy with the changes that we just made. And I'm loving the fact that we already have a little bit of height to our skyline. That is just... That's great to see already. So hopefully we can continue with that theme as we get closer to the water. Alright guys, well, I, like I said, I appreciate it. Drop some comments, let me know what you think, and please definitely send me some reminders about those parks. Like, I don't want to forget about you guys, and like, my heart, like, it hurts so much when I do. So help me out here, guys. Um, you know, remind me why uh, why you're wonderful, you know? Um, yeah, and then, uh, then I look out for that. So I'll probably do that in, you know, maybe two or three episodes once again, you know, once the city gets a little bit bigger and we get a little bit more of it established. But, um, yeah, until then, you know, hang out, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. And I love the support, love the appreciation, everything you guys are giving me. Um, if you're liking this, definitely hit the like button, you know, share it with your friends. Let's try and, you know, grow our little community here. And, uh, yeah, keep the suggestions coming. All right, guys, that's all. You know me, I'll ramble forever. So thanks for watching. I'm Imperial Jedi. This was episode three. I will see you guys in episode four. And until then, have yourselves a great day.